we get earlier information. By the time Som realizes that they're headed in this direction, it may be too little too late to hold on to the side. It's the flash clear. He's not following any rotates yet, though. I've seen the one. Second. When it's the raise, that's instantly going to start to rotate away from it. But I love the fact that Sen have kept two lurkers around the rest of the map. Oh. It gives them options, but oh. one option just taken away by Victor. The other one, Tens, trying to lurk his way into B right now and telling the rest of the team to come back in that direction too. 30 seconds left. It's the call now. Sentinels. Four players up, they got straight through mid. Going for the B split. Still. Tagged up, taking a moment here to just pull it out of the 40 seconds. It's eager. Here's the reload. Time really running short. Plenty of players! A rapid approach through the back of the site now. NRG not wasting any time from this one. We've got access to it. Tens. There's just a classic, even a pre fire into the smoke, anticipating that second player to move through. Sassy can really do some damage, and more so than that, to kill Found. A 2v1 is where Ethan is placed. Almost an impossibility for him to win. Such low HP. Tap. Jump spots. That's a lovely pistol battle. For NRG, remember this team has not had a long time together, even though this feels like a core that's been glued with that permanent chemistry of friendship for a long, long time. Spanning back all the way to CS, right? Not even yeah. just in Valorant. Finesse getting blinded like five times there. <laughs> <laughs> He's just eating them all. They are walking into a little bit of a stack. Now, when you watch Heretics, they have tons of really disciplined, like, mid reclear strategies and stuff like that. But I'm not expecting energy to have as many, because like I said, they are in a bit more of an experimental early phase right now. Yeah. Despite the fact they've been putting in quite a lot of time over the last month. It's only one map. Yeah, I think this NRG core, despite them existing for a long time, as we mentioned in, you've got to place those expectations, I think, almost like a next year thing. I mean, that's, that's a, a bit of a crazy thing to say. I mean, it's a brutal thing to say, but it may well be true. You look at the... You look at what both these teams are working with here. They're both 3-3 three and three in the regular season, but Senna in such a better spot just because of all of those championship points, even if they did beat fit in Stage 2. They'd probably still make champs. NRG can barely afford to lose a single match. And they've got tough opposition as well. Sen being one of them that they find themselves toe-to-toe -to -toe with. And Sen looking to pick up a fairly clean second round here. At the beginning as well of this entire match, I think redemption was the key word for both these teams. Lotus with them playing an unusual comp. Whoa, early from Victor, but doesn't commit off the back of it. Paranoia as well. It was just in case somebody was running fast up elbow from some. So really getting baited out there into thinking that Zekken was yeah, scaling okay. super aggro. This is two rounds in a row now where they've seen the Neon presence. The Sentinels want nothing to do with it. Now fast movement up through B, but already plenty of players there. What is that by tens? Three fire into the corner on both. Just expecting that there's going to be a flood attempt coming out by NRG. I wanted to praise the calling that they were stacking up with as many bodies as they were. Yeah, I mean, the macro understanding is absolutely there. They realized that Senua were coming into beat, and they had every player ready for it. But just on the angles that are tough, alongside walls, and bullets find their heads, great prediction. Som's walking down mid. Could he catch a timing here? Make some boy. Here's the cam. He's looking for it. Finds it. Spots crashes too. The second does onto the entry. Still play at disadvantage for NRG. And Crashies decides not to try to make the hero play. Instead going for a, a disadvantage retake. Just banking on the fact that they have some smoke to play around. Everybody in B main though, these post plans, they work so often. Good luck. That's all you can say really, a tap. Dance, revealing at least two of them. Flash forwards. Time ticking. They're going to be able to getting themselves onto the spikes and if they can isolate some of these spikes again. No one has been sticking this spike or putting any pressure onto it this entire time. So finally on it, but he's going to be taken out from the defuse. Full line there. Crashes now. Has to stick this one all the way and it needs to be defended. Victor is looking in entirely the wrong place. Celsius. But if one person had been on that defuse a little earlier, maybe it could have Whoa. made all the difference. The hell is Tens up to? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean,
respect, D. Here's the all being picked out. Stays inside the smoke. He was anti flash. Yeah, dropping down inside he dropped one out way. into the one way. So. <laughs> it's interesting in interviews that I've been watching from the NRG players, kind of how this even came to be. Well, we've talked a little bit about how these players are all friends, right? And I think NRG have. Chet has even described them in the past as being a bit cliquey in a bad way. Yeah. But I think in this situation, it just works so nicely. Oh, that is a shot. But can you imagine the humility you need to be able to go back to Finesse as Ethan and say, Mate, I thought I could do it, but actually I can't. It's a hard job. Can you come back? Yeah, stepping up to that, that you, challenge. You genuinely need to be such good friends with somebody, I think, to all have absolutely no ego whatsoever to be able to do something like that and not allow your pride to get in the way yeah pretty standard utility being used by sentinels just on this take and it's a nice and pretty wrapped up anti-eco from nature i mean right sure they're certainly going to try yeah but you can't really set your expectations there yeah finesse has talked about that as well he, he was asked uh, i think it might have been in an interview with pedro romero like do you think you can do it? Are you capable of it? And he said, that's the wrong way to think about it. You just have to prove it to yourself step by step every match. Here, looking to play a retake, a second showstopper just opens up the whole of the B side. And RG's composition now in another spot where they have to try to use as little utility as possible to take the site back so that they can keep putting pressure being made. And Senna already one step ahead looking for that reflag. And Celta, John and Mick. John QT, man. The dagger in the dark. Like you said as well, that replaying Zelsa is coming in through. It's being watched for by Finesse, still holding it. Crashes now. Fuse onto half. There's this whole body sticking this one. What do they have to push this one off? It's only bullets flying forwards and away. But still a half chain. So I'm sticking in and nothing to deny. Oh, this time, NRG are there. Half yeah, armor. Uh, don't know how much utility really going to get pulled together. It's a must win round for NRG. Otherwise, their economy really is dire, and they're down 5 1, 6 1. The first half spiraled away at that point. Good drone now. And through mid, they're in its way. Sentinels. Are there any traces that they were in that spot? You see, just free fire actually does catch the cam that was heard earlier, so that's seeing the same level of tactical depth that we see from heretics when they play this con. You know, none of that mid reclear, none of the fast set plays, none of really the aggressive reclear strategies into B main either, but that's to be expected. Yeah. Heretics have been scrimming together since October. This team has won. A lot of people will be questioning that when we're making comments like that, right? They're saying, well, this team has been together for situation two flashes but no fragment right. it's proactivity it's the name of the game right now the sentinels look at that look like sinker it's victor is going to be caught Next to the side beautiful flash now with the refight nrg gonna make a go of this one and they gotta win this round who indeed the knife forward to the back even oh. it's the back of the head that is finally Whoa. killed and collected his bullet to fly forwards spraying away finally toppling them and like you said it was a must win round for nrg navigated almost everything pretty damn well yeah that paranoia that came through from some was fantastic i was <laughs> not going flash overhead even with that stand is a fault line and a reface that's steering will not help you out there don't have to really capitalize off this one so sentinels each game that's all playing really slow waiting out the util waiting out the aggression this push down mid is nice back. This push down mid is lovely because they're still trying to deal with Sonic spamming into that smoke. So they're not thinking about mid here, Sentinels. And actually have taken a lot of space. And have still got a lot of information. That B main trick continues to tell NRG. Oh, crashies. Crashies. Ah, 
Slowly here, looking to try to feel out what the defensive setup is. NRG had stacked. Three, four players over towards the A side, and now they've just left Vanessa to kind of hold it. Yeah. They might have assumed that Sen were going to run a fast play at in that direction. But since it didn't happen at the beginning, now it's squirted back out a little bit. This might be a crazy con for me, but I mean, at Vanessa's position, it feels very committal to the Sun. He's really got to get something done here. Sentinels. Options that even have. I mean, there's no signs of life anywhere. Sentinels are left really just scratching their heads. They're wondering which side it's going to be free. Showstopper has to be used, and that's an old command to answer. So Ethan can quickly rip away that old advantage, but it doesn't stop the gun. Bullets flying straight forward. Paranoia dodged and avoided. Still tacked up second, close to the pillar. His teammates to back him up now. Side to side, shoulder to shoulder with the paranoia ball. Is that his pure proactivity? There's absolutely nobody that can match this guy's freak. Finesse is on the other side of the map, by the way, because there was a long range zero point. The knight from Ethan found John Cutie in elbow. And so Finesse still thinks that John is lurking, ready to stop him on the rotate. So they just have to run that retake without their cipher. Tragic situation. Celsius. Oh, he stood up. Staring across. I think he knows what they just did. He's into sprint mode. Energy's economy ruined again here. This is looking very dominant on sunset. Yeah, super dominant. Sentinels. Straight back into the swing of things here to stage two. Talk about our team really looking for a chance to, you know, get the right footing underneath them. I think the teams like Sentinels, where you know, they took the off-season so seriously, full practice, full intention of actually winning something for once, they finally win Madrid, Victor. Beat my words, now going into storytelling mode, but okay, eventually players toppling, retaining themselves against the anti-eco. It's difficult, I think, for a winning team to push the full focus to really get back into the mode and the mindset of trying to win again. That's yeah. why the Sentinels players have spoken about how good the break has been for them. Absolutely, getting back into that right mindset. And while Sen are somewhat expected to be able to make champs, and a lot of people in America are looking at them as you know, one of the favorite teams to go and represent Americans, despite the fact they didn't earn the right for Shanghai. On the other side of things, on the flip side for NRG, they're like the outside shot that's really got a massive uphill battle to even get into that position. I know that we've been shooting a lot of bail for NRG on this map. It's not maybe not mathematically just yet, but it probably will in the long run. So this team's in a spot where they gotta they gotta pick their game up super fast. Flash is there, trip. Okay. Slight connection, but no one to punish. Once again, three players over towards B, but not choosing to actually put any pressure on the sent players. Now getting into back sights. Oh, man! 
Just can't stop him. Victor seek to do some damage. Just a clean on detective and a much more forward. Retake time in there. It's a single flash from Ethan that Crashies tries to swing with. Doesn't wait for Victor. And Sen once more winning a dominant round where they get the sight for free. Navigate the right time. When you watch the top teams play with this kind of con, every T is crossed, every I is dotted. And that is really difficult. When you don't have time. Just to be taken. Victor lurking his way up forwards. That was the old turn. Just on that all picked up. FNS. And not be able to anchor Celsius. And his way back up now to this rolling thunder. Full connection. Up into the air. Still it's a 1v2. There's a lot to do. Celsius. Here in the tap, a couple of spray revealed the position. Zom. Wins this fight out. It's an important one. Nobody's still sticking this one. If he realizes it, you can play your time now, Celsius. You can really slow this one down if you so wish. Six bullets left in the chamber. What can you do with it? Even sticking, twisting, turning. Not enough. And then RG, the buy is not looking pretty heading into round 12. It's rough. And I think it's unfortunate that it, it's a fair likelihood we might not even get to see very much of him on the attack side to get to answer that question about whether they look better there. Because at the moment, it's just all sent all the way. Crashes in the form kill for him to collect. Ethan, no, what is that? Somehow the one to make it work and make it happen for them. One now to stand here. This final round of the half. Hunter's Fury right on time. 9 3 finish, but what can NRG do with it for 9 3 hole at the time? I know he's famous for once telling the team, just get me three and I'll win you the attack side, <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's a very map specific. Though, has got a lot of space here. Slow round. Nachi making it feel like it's heading in a different direction. And now make the pivot through market. Made a defeat. Sure that they can't really follow up from this one. Zeppelin getting tacked up. He has to give up that space for the paranoia. Forwards and flying. Still sentinels. They have that advantage. Still holding on to it. Cannot win these fights out in Nachi. Trying their hardest. Try as they may. Still. Sentinels never ever really taking these solo fights always doubled up always with an advantage in some way or form and crashes left to pick up the pieces look at how sen also got their players into the site to actually challenge nrg as they went for the hit that's not at all the way that nrg were playing when they were on defense that is still that hit. a little scared sat over by boba not willing to throw that utility in and flood defenders off them Crashies essentially in an unwinnable spot here. The rest of the team is just going to be sat silent, yeah. realizing that this is not the beginning they wanted to stage two. And the record likely to be going three and four. Sassy picks it up. And 10 3 the scoreline. Sen dominance on Sunset. Stingers, a sheriff, maybe half armor at play. <coughs> Control. And actually going to be given a lot of space here, but just gliding forwards. Trip was dealt with. Still, John QT is eager. Draw blood straight from NRG. Flash 
dodge just from the smoke there. Still, Ethan. That's a collection. It was a double face by the Sentinels players, but they're going to be toppled for their mistake now. It's a 3v3. Signature move is being made by NRG as well. Corn for that pause on that minima. They've got plenty of time to work with, but it likes the towards the one angle where Tens is hanging. Just go walk about, man. And now you can hear it with the footsteps. It points it directly towards the easiest kill of his life. Now it's 11 to 3. You could feel Having like Dean one and on the bench in Mob Cup, but they were hoping that the extra coordination and chemistry Hello. would allow players to shine. And there's Point Victor. Nice. With the Bulldog, applying tons of that. pressure. Yeah, that's a lovely one. Applied onto Zekin, so he's just a sitting duck. Victor, what's a few more? Lovely flash! This is what you need to see, that coordination between Victor and Ethan. Uh, yeah, he's feeling it. Get, it Get the ace. He's he's locked in. in. The old fox, the old. He can hear him. The footsteps car and away. Oh. Indeed. Oh, oh, he won't give him anything. Oh, not the investment of the old and still oh. not getting the ace. Such fantastic repercussions later that on down the year. Late with the fault line here. There's a sentinel just to put out refight. Hoping that there will be a player sitting out wide out of position. Tens up on top of the newsstand. Whoa. Who's going to be spotting who first? Not too sure how the angle works out. Victor, uh, he's got the advantage. Yeah. And he's further away, which means that he's able to spot the toes there of Tens. Despite the fact it looks like Tens is going to see him first. Flash here should pop Zekin off the angle, but he's going to quickly be able to recontest if he wants. It's kind of incentivized to make take more risks, I should say, in this spot. Flash in the dart, hello. Oh, caught into the corner, that is disgusting stuff. Victor, kind of just the same in time though, but a paranoia is good and true. Lands it along with the flash. There's ways of util, they still haven't removed Sassy though. Over the top, that's the Dizzy, running and gunning, gets the job done. This is looking nice from NRG, they've actually got some yeah. really good plans to set up Victor on this A side. It's going to require some adjustment from Sentinels. Seven rounds in the lead right now, but if they don't make the adjustments, it's going to get a little tighter. Their economy is not in an amazing spot here. Yeah. Sentinels forced to save. coordination that was lacking a little bit on their defensive side and on the retakes maybe just a lack of preparation on one half of the map because so far i've been fairly impressed once the sides have swapped with the way that ethan and victor are playing off each other that's pretty nice actually dynamic duo but that's the kind of synergy you need to be present all over the place yeah. i mean the game is just so but it's an eco round here so that tight timeout is not really going to be Some pressure though with a bit of a retake here. Nade, does he? Nade. Yep. It's as soon as. Oh, okay! Fed into the blender! Yeah, alright. Second and Sassy turned into mulch to feed the roses. I mean, <laughs> no chances there. Cheeky idea that was cooked out though by Sen on the Eco. Come on. Didn't work to fruition. Everybody's going walkabout, obviously. Seeking to make a play. <laughs> Hello, Sen. <laughs> Watch this one, the chocolate needs got another, another trip. trip. Yeah. Go on, do the limbo under that as well. I don't think it's going to work that time. Go on, give it a try. Give it a try, get under it. There's no shot. There's no <laughs> shot. There's no... This is going to be heard. Finesse! Finesse! Oh, yes. Okay. All good. All good. All good. <laughs> uh, John, I think, meant to go into the cam there, potentially. Not too sure, but fires away a shot, reveals himself. Tom whoops out a gun wow. just in time. <laughs> that was a strange one. That's a lovely So what are they looking to do here? Work. Just play in supportively with the off? Yeah, oh like my maybe God. the bait and switch. <laughs> that could be in the bait. Yeah. And the tagged up by was kind of thrown out there. Yeah, I think it's because Zekin was tagged up by the knife, so we couldn't use the second satchel to get out. We were worried about them following up on it, but I didn't expect this cage up. It's nice. It's real nice, actually. TP backs away. Second still committed. There needs to be a shot found, but no connection again. This time, second falls. Tens with the reposition. Nice and quick onto this one. 
Oh, on earth. Lots of players, though, are going to be hitting him. He's got to hit some outrageous shots here. Yep, onto the shoulder. He misses it. Straight through the wall. Happy to be alive is FNS. Everybody's, everybody's here. here. Yeah, everybody's here. Everybody. Make sure to meet them. Clearing that one with the aftershock. Forwards. Trying to make a play. Another flash peek, and the reclear is just immaculate. Still. All bodies lining up now, but he's anchoring players tucked to the corner. Celsius last alive and the most to do. Four bullets left. He needs to connect at least a few in the free fire from Crashies. And then he's back. You've ruined your own economy now as well because you had to buy down so much in that round. To me, that, that makes absolutely no sense the way that Sen adjusted out of that tight timeout. And I think they've just opened the door for NRG. Yeah. That's a that's a baffling one. Yeah. Business is booming right now for NRG. If you look at the money situation and the off back of my tens, getting not rewarded. Oh. That's shock That's a shocky. That's pinpoint. How the hell did he land that one? Right on the tens, but he was trying to go for the evacuation. Did he not pre-fire it though? And I just find it. Stun. Nade. A victor, he's not long for this world. Surely not what? But the movement, Sassy! He's somehow in there getting two. There's two left to stand. There's no way to send do this. You're gonna be joking me. Rolling thunder, pushing back. Crashies. He stands up. Second. Sky, the way he moves, is just fluid in action. Sticking now. Zelsus needs to be held. Needs to be defended. And second. Who takes the fight? Two to Even that. Even that. Monster today, hasn't he? Carried through massively in the first half and delivered there in round 19. No time wasted. Yeah, no, no. Victor. Jumps across those good. They're still doing the operator setup. Yeah. Oh, but the stun misses this time. And tens this time. Able to reposition into a spot where maybe he can have more success. Where's the spawn? That's a one-way smoke they've used to try and get themselves in. I think they expect the tens to be up on top of it. Flash. And forwards. That's Victor. But again, the smoke. It doesn't block him off from the angle. And this is the impetus. The rounder really matters. Victor. Uh, Goes into his own hands here with Hunter's Fury. Maybe they can set the stage. Spike's been picked up. When the hell are they going to start to plant this one? But it's hot feet for John QT. The rocket is dodged. Second, okay, slide and bad. dash and slide away. It's a flash as well. Detainment not in sight. He's dodging everything. And all this YouTube being baited. I was still about 50 seconds left. Still, crashes on the look. Has been caught and found. And the TP reposition of Som. He wants to try and make his way over towards B. Easy access to the site. Victor's got nine lives in this round. He's dodged everything that was coming out of it's him. It's on the health stop. Yeah. But at the same time, still has a difficult task to do. Combined HP, tiny for Zelsis and Zeka. Can the Victor find the timing? A lot of lights onto this one, Victor. That's a 3v. And I don't know your positioning still into this 2v2. And this is the map, and this is the series double duck. Shoulder to shoulder, Sentinels now for the take. This one with a bit of that discipline. The Mosh flying, Son finds it. And they've earned themselves more breathing room. Surely they have to stumble at some point. There's just too many chances for one player on send. That's what I mean. Four rounds. Right? Something big. Exactly. Even on rounds like this where it's like thrifty weaponry, or at least on the three of them, just the pistols. But you just never know. Yeah, all it takes is one big mistake on the NRG side or one huge play on the other. And Senna always incentivized on these equal rounds to take uh, risks to, to gamble. To push, for example, John Cutie up into B main. And try to catch somebody slipping. Yeah, still NRG, the ones who are following up with these kills. Did you expect John QT? No, they certainly didn't over towards B main, and now John's going to be able to get a rifle. Tens as well. Okay. He's make this one very doable. A 3v3 with rifles all across the board. Yeah. Left Marine, no longer really a problem here. The positioning no, is... no space. No, they're all just cowering essentially into the back of the site. They have to really brute force their way and make some space. If you are NRG, if you want to stand a chance. One spotted, paranoia. Only the one sweeping through. Tens, yes, my belt. And so, little transfer. That's actually sick from Som. He jumped over the top of Ten's flash in order to make that a reality. And John's got it all to do, but I think this one's just too no, much. The time not in his favor either. Led away entirely here, so 
consolation prize with the kills. So it's a ninth round now for NRG. And you've got to imagine that NRG are going to head back to A, right? All of their rifle rounds, they've been finding success with the line. Is Finesse back? <laughs> kind of looking like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is really nice. Coming into a rifle round, you expect Sensor with maybe that adaptation, and he's so correct. What a read. What a call. Gunter's going to plant his feet in through the back of the sights. Let's see if he can pull some of that util out. Maybe get a cheap kill inside the smoke. Yeah, you either force utility out, but then your players in B main have a bit of time, or they don't use the util. Trying to save it, and maybe you get some freebies, as he has done here. He's really being pressured. One trade into one at a time. Finesse on the reflash. Three market. It's going to be a big one. Oh, oh. He's flying forward. Still needs to be broken, and so he has revealed himself here. Finally, John QT. No way. No way. Sticking. Stick. Ah, defended. Second forwards. It's broken. The flank. Push back. Still half. Can still be one. Again, they're going to damage. And the least land the kill. They do. I really didn't believe the idea of just give me three and <laughs> Finesse is going to call the rest to success, but well, maybe it's a reality. They only need two more. Again, another hit on to B. Thinking, reading the mind game. Sen are like, surely they'll go A this time. Nope, another B exec. Another excellent read from Finesse. That has to be the full retake from Sentinels. It's the exact same round, Finesse in the same position. Victor deep onto site. Yeah, not clear though from the deep hole, the tens. I mean, that is everybody suppressed. Oh my goodness, flash. No attempt to punish, he still wants to go for this one. The movement ajar from Sassy. With the wingman still active into the fight. Trying to get onto this one. The fuse disrupted and broken. Mosh pit found. Ethan. The kills are flowing, the feed is built up. It's up. The fuse broken out of the bullets! Sentinels! I don't think he doesn't have the time. Oh my goodness! And again, NRG changing things up, but this time Sentinels are ready. Is the adaptation here? Can they stop the hit on A? Second revealed, he's close quarters though with the judge and still can't land it! It's Victor! Reign supreme into the elbow area. All propped up. Covers a bit of that space here, but what is the call now for NRG? Pause and patience to be played. Sassy re-exploration on his side of things. No punish in sight. Celsius defends. Now they're gonna run this one around with a draft attainment. Least onto the one. And the kill is flowing either way. Spike dropped down. It's a 2v2. For the deciding round. It's a series wrapped up. Now we're going to OT. That is great information from Finesse. He pops his ultimate, realizes that the retake is nowhere near, so they have a free plant, free reposition. But now we're going to see John with one on the other side. But John has the opportunity. It doesn't look like there's really a corpse for him to use, though. A double up. Trying to put pressure. Both sides. There it is. There's the info. He loves it with a neuro FF, gives them prime information with the flash. It's a great connection. Som needs to stay alive. Jiggling with the movement again. Him and Som. And Finesse together. Combined. And that is OT. Finesse, they're just looking to break the cam. This is such a dangerous piece. So dangerous. Oh, oh, it's it's so bad. 30 HP. That's daylight robbery. The, uh, the neon should not be able to escape there. Remember, he didn't even have armor. <laughs> and now Sen, without Sassy, how do you get into these sites? You're losing a lot of your powerful initiator utility. And Finesse now is not playing to anchor these sites super heavily. Normally he was playing, you know, like heavy A with double kill trips in the cam. He's actually playing really spread for information. So NRG are not, they don't have to go aggressive in this round. They can just play the advantage and all of that info from the trips in the camp. A stun to push somebody off that aggressive A angle, but that is uh, not. Where they're on a high-low off angle, a high-low off angle, Zekin. 
Almost punished even with the movement. The slight jiggle, barely alive. I think full they, rotation of half around. I mean, they've got a great read here, though. The fact that that flash goes through, but there's no follow up. Crashies and Som are just telling finesse. Like, mate, it's definitely not here. It is 100% not heading A. Get ready. So the stack is ready to meet them. Already the cage dropped up in front of them. Ethan. Underhanded with the flash. Realizes they've already got themselves into the site here with only nine seconds to go. How did they even get a foothold to get the plant down? Sentinels. It's desperation. They're gonna try to hold it down. And they do just that. It's a 3v2 now. In the blink of an eye. Crushies. Dancing with death itself there. Stun. Popped up. This is up to Som. Aftershock. Perfect. Just about lands here, pushes it away for the first wave, and have a tap from Som, but it's gonna be the double face to end that round. All right, now Sen with a chance, another opportunity to close this one out. They've had many of them. Let's see if they can step up to it. Victor. Many liberties being taken with this guy. He's positioning up top section of mid. It's drawn so many people. But there's no one really to exploit that elsewhere. They're, in the They're right at his back. And all the players and the wiser! Everybody falls! One left to stand, but crashes cannot do it!